Hello everybody, this is Manny from Manny's Book Bag, uh, coming at you with another video about Reprice It features. Let me show you what's in my book bag today. Today we're going to be talking about repricing schedules. As you all know, you create your templates and the next thing you have to do is decide when you actually want to reprice. Uh, I know that many people never set a repricing schedule and they just reprice as they see fit. When they feel like it, they'll log into their account. They'll go into Reprice It Now right up here, and they'll just click the button. But some of us like to automate the process so that we don't have to think about it all the time. Now, Reprice It is set up so that you can set up schedules up to 10 times a day. And the important thing to know about this is that you really want to give a lot of thought to those schedules. Uh, definitely try and come up with a schedule that revolves around basic human behavior. Think about when people are most likely to be active on the internet, whether that means at the time of wake up, uh, rush hour traffic, lunch time, or on the way home, or dinner time after dinner. Uh, these are when people are going to be most engaged online. So if you set up your schedules to work along with that, you'll have a better chance of having that fresh price in the face of your buyer. Also, you're going to want to write a schedule uh, with keeping in mind that there are multiple time zones. So if I live on the East Coast, uh, after after lunch might be around 1 o'clock, but that's only 10 o'clock in the morning on the West Coast. And after lunch on the West Coast at 1 o'clock would be after 4 o'clock on the East Coast. So keep in mind, you've got multiple uh, time zones to really uh, get sales from. What you have in front of you is actually my current repricing schedule. You'll notice that not only do I schedule my repricing but I take advantage of the full 10 I may only reprice every couple hours during the morning to early afternoon but that is only so that I can save those particular slots for uh, the actual uh, rush hour and dinner times East Coast and West Coast so going right down the line there if you look at this first one here you're asking yourself, why would I reprice at 2.19 in the morning? Well, there are going to be night owls on the East Coast, but keep in mind, that is only 11.19 p.m. on the West Coast. That means that the people that are getting ready to go to sleep on the West Coast, or the people that are just getting started because they're night owls themselves, are going to be very active on online. So that's going to reset all of my pricing for that particular buyer. Also, if you are on the East Coast, keep in mind, most of your competition is asleep. So you're able to leapfrog a lot of competition that does not take advantage of repricers, and you'll be the best price going all through the middle of the night and early morning. Now, I give it a rest for a good four hours, and I reprice again at 6.19 in the morning for the East Coast uh, wake-up and for the real late-night owls on the West Coast as well. Next one won't be for another five hours. I let it go the rest of the morning till about 11.19 a.m. And these are all Eastern Standard Time. I reset my pricing getting ready for East Coast lunchtime and also for the West Coast wake up as well. I, I wait a few more hours and at 2.19 p.m. I reset my pricing uh, for the East Coast and that also will reset my pricing getting ready for the lunch rush on the west coast at 4 19 p.m. what I'm doing there is getting ready for the rush hour traffic on the east coast and resetting my uh, pricing after lunch on the west coast at 5 49 p.m. I am getting ready for the west coast rush hour while preparing for the uh, dinner time buyer on the east coast and so on and so forth. You're going to notice that after about 4.19 p.m., that's when I start repricing every hour and a half uh, very steadily. Uh, this is because this is when uh, a lot of the buying behavior is going to occur, 
and it gives me a chance to have the best price the most possible time. So from 4.19 p.m. all the way up to 11.49 p.m., I'm going to be repricing very regularly. Also keep in mind that by doing the full 10, you will not have as many items reprice every single session. If I only repriced twice a day and those two sessions were 12 hours apart, I may see hundreds of items repricing. But the difference between 7.19 p.m. and 8.49 p.m. might only be 50 or 60 items. So don't feel that your items are automatically going to race. Your repricing rules are still going to be your repricing rules and it can't do anything that you're not okay with. I really hope this video has helped you and we'll talk soon.